Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new poll video. And uh, today's poll in question is going to be future quests and the combat achievement rewards. And this poll is actually the first poll where the pass rate is being reduced from 75% to 70%. Uh, like always, if you guys want to read the blog, you can click on this link here and it will take you to the blog and then um, on that blog it will have the first five questions and then all you have to do is when you load up that blog it says on the poll it says so if these polls questions look a little bit different alongside these questions we are also polling the recent combat achievement expansion rewards then all you have to do is click on the combat achievement expansion rewards in your pop-up box and then that will take you to the rest of these questions so now we have cleared that up let's go ahead and click vote and now we will uh, just fire through these so the first question is would you like a new intermediate level twisted tail quest called the garden of death to be added to the game it is a karen and kebos quest and it is a standalone quest they've basically added this to just uh, or they are proposing to add it to um, add life and add content to the region this quest basically have no requirements or no quest requirements the skill requirements will be 20 farming and uh, your rewards for this quest will be one quest point and 10 farm uh, 10k farming xp so do i think it will be a good idea to add this into the game yes i do i enjoy doing quests personally so a new quest will be decent plus then if you guys are a lower level and you haven't quite leveled up your farming skill just yet um 10,000 xp uh, to boost that skill is decent i'm pretty sure that'll get you a couple of levels especially if you are just at the level 20 threshold to be able to do this quest so let's move on to question two question two is would you like a new mysterious level master quest to be added to the game and uh, this master quest is kind of at the moment a locked secret they're not telling you what the quest is being called and they are not really saying what quest requirements you need but they do let you know the skill requirements so the skill requirements you will need to be able to do this quest is 69 agility 64 thieving and 56 hunter and it is recommended that you guys have 85 combat so um you are going to be uh, slaying some monsters in this quest and uh, this quest says this quest is obviously so mysterious that the title is still a mystery and the en enigma doesn't stop there our story begins with a murder and there is no shortage of, sus of suspects in fact you're one of them to discover the truth you'll need to uh, form an unlikely alliance to uncover the true killer and discern their motives do i think this quest will be a decent quest to add into the game um me personally yes i enjoy doing quests like i said on the previous uh like i said on the previous question it is a uh, master level quest uh, with it being like a murder quest like a murder mystery i think this will be a good quest to add question three states would you like us to increase the amount of skill xp given from future master and grandmaster quests to between approximately 50 to 100k per skill as described in the uh, future quests uh, poll blog and um, they brought an example of this so the grim tales quest is a master level quest and it offers 14,000 xp in wood cutting 6,000 in agility thieving uh, 5,000 in herbal law and hit points 4,000 in farming and a dwarven helmet so they are trying to say um that these xp rewards are not too great and they are thinking about upping it so you'll be given approximately between 50 to 100k in each skill in my opinion um i think that is a bit high i suppose it will make people do a lot more quests especially if you're making like a new account and stuff like that the the main objective for your account is going to be try and rush these quests because it will save you like an hour on certain skills to level them up at such a low level so do i think it will be a good idea i think it will do because then it'll bring um players to actually do the quest because they've got more benefits to do them like bigger xp drops and stuff like that so i think this will be a decent question or a decent thing to add into the game question four states would you like for us to increase the amount of skill xp given from all previous master and grandmaster quests to between approximately 50 to 100k per skill as described in the blog those who have already completed the quest will be able to claim the difference the difference i'm gonna vote no for this question just because i think this will be too much uh fannying about to be honest 
I think that um, moving forward, they probably should up the uh, Master and uh, Grandmaster quests, but I don't think they should touch the, the quests that are already out under that tier. Question 5 is, if a new Mysterious Master level quest is added to the game, uh, would you like its final boss to become a repeatable solo encounter after the completion as described in the blog? So as it is described in the blog, it says, as many of you have already noticed, we're keeping everything involved in a new Master level quest close to our chest, but we do have a little something for you to get excited about. During the said quest, you'll encounter a final boss, and once you have defeated it and completed the quest, would like a phantom version of the quest to become a new repeatable solo encounter. Do I think that would be a good idea? I'm not too sure, to be honest, because if you guys are wanting to do the final boss again, you're going to want like some sort of reward from it. And I think that if it is going to be a repeatable thing, the rewards are not going to be that great. I don't think it'll offer too much in the, uh, you know, like the rewards and stuff like that. So I'm not too sure if, if it even would be worth doing. Uh, hopefully, in my opinion, hopefully this is added. Um, like for me, I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote yes, because I would want this added. But I don't feel like it is going to be that beneficial for a lot of players. Hopefully, I am completely wrong. And this uh, repeatable solo encounter boss is actually fun to do and stuff like that. And um, people actually want to do it. So, in my opinion, I think it should be added. But I'm not very optimistic about what this boss may bring. <laughs> um, but this is just my honest feedback on these questions. And now, the second part of this video... We'll be going over the combat achievement expansion. So now let's just uh, fire through these. Uh, I think there's a fair few questions on this. Uh, yes, there's 15 questions on this. Um, so question six is, should we offer the ability to earn additional warrior guild tokens as described in the combat achievements blog? So these uh, warrior tokens will be for the easy tier. You will earn 100% more warrior tokens from the warriors guild. So uh, you'll get basically uh, double the amount of warrior tokens if you have the easy tier of combat achievements completed. I think this should be a, um, I think, I think it should be added because how many people I know me personally, I've spend just getting my defenders on this account for the first time it was about 13 to 14 hours so that is going to be like half the time hopefully you're not going to be there for as long anyway question seven is should we offer the ability to earn additional pest control points as a tiered reward um in the combat achievements blog what they are offering is each tier of the combat achievement you'll be getting more points and it is the same with the warrior tokens i didn't really touch on it on that question but i'll just run it down for you now for example the warrior tokens it is 100 percent for easy tier 200 percent for mediums but for the pest control it it's a little bit different for the easy tier you'll get an additional point per successful game um for the if you completed the medium tier then you'll get an additional two points for each successful game if you completed the hard tier then you will get a additional three points per extra game so this is going to speed up your void grind considerably so i do think that will be a good thing question eight states should we offer the ability to increase the capacity of cannonballs the dwarven cannon can hold as a tiered reward for the combat achievements see this one i don't really agree with to be honest i'm gonna vote no but i'll just go through the proposed thing they are uh, talking about so this would start on the medium tier so as the easy tier you do not get any uh, increased capacity on the medium tier they are offering an additional five cannonballs on top of its base level or on top of its base ammo so it would go up to 35 also in the hard tier they are offering 15 cannonballs on top of its base ammo so it would go from 30 to 45 and if you complete the elite tier it is offering a base um, upgrade from 30 to 60 cannonballs Question nine is, should we offer the ability to no longer be affected by the prayer drain effect? While Gommel's Hill is equipped as a reward from the combat achievements, this would be a medium tier requirement or a medium tier reward. I'm not too sure what this Gommel's Hill is. I've not done the quest or whatever I need to be able to get this. I've not got this item. Would it be a good item? I'm not too sure because I'm not, I don't really know what it is. I'm just gonna have to skip this question because I'm not really too sure where you get this thing from. Is it 
actually is it the thing you get from the uh the, the achievement diaries itself the uh achievement diaries sorry the combat achievement diaries so i'm just going to skip this question because i don't use this item um i'm not too sure if it will be a good a good thing to add so question 10 is should we offer the ability to imbue items for 50 percent cheaper at the nightmare zone or soul wars as reward from the combat achievements um let's go ahead and have a look so this will be added to the hard tier of the uh, combat achievements and you would be um it's just a 50 percent deal to be honest i do think this should be added question 11 is should we offer the spawn chance of superior slayer monsters to become one in 150 as reward from the combat achievements as described in the blog so this uh, would be added to the elite tier rewards and uh, basically it just gives you a 25 percent higher chance than the standard rate of one in 200 but i do think it is a good idea to add it just because then if you have done this like i said previously it won't really be the average consumer who will have done all the way up to this tier now you've gone and done that you should be rewarded for your efforts of doing like proving your ability to kill like certain bosses and doing certain challenges then you should be rewarded to then go ahead and um when doing like slayer and stuff like that so it is a lot easier for you to be able to go and kill the superiors because you've you have proven yourself on such a higher level killing these uh other creatures and bosses and stuff then going back and struggling against like uh, abyssal demons or something because you don't have a increased chance of uh, a superior creature spawning i do think that is a bit ridiculous question 12 question 12 states should we offer the ability of the expeditious and slaughter bracelets to have a 10 percent chance to fully recharge instead of breaking as a reward in the combat achievements again this will be added to the elite tier and if you guys don't really know what these bracelets are, I'm not really too sh sure which order, like which way around it is. One of them is the monster counts as two kills when you when you're killing it on a slayer task, and the uh, the second one is the monster doesn't count at all when killing it on a slayer task. So one uh, increases the amount you can kill per slayer task, and one decreases the amount you can kill per slayer task. And with it being a 10% chance to fully recharge, it's a very slight chance of it happening. So I do think this will be a very good one to uh, try and uh, get into the game. Question 13, only three questions left. Question 13 is, should we offer the ability for summoned thralls to last longer? as a tiered reward from the combat achievements so summon thralls i'm sure i'm pretty sure this is the one you get from the quest i got it mixed up with the other thing the other thing i'm pretty sure you get it from the achievements themselves but this is the thing you get from the quests and uh, i'm pretty sure it's one of the monsters what helps you kill it or something uh, again i've not really understood these thralls because i've just not got them unlocked at the moment and nevertheless we will go ahead and see what tier they'll be added to this will be added to the master tier and um, they will last 50% longer on the master tier. And if you have done the grand master tier, which I'm pretty sure is the uh, all of them, like all of the tiers, uh, then they will last 100% longer. So that's not too bad. I'm guessing this is going to be like an end game um type of thing like it's going to help you with end game stuff at the moment i'm not really doing stuff like that but it is something i plan to do in the near future um so having everything that can help me achieve them goals or achieve what i'm trying to do i think it will be a lot more beneficial question 14 is about the blessing should we offer a new blessing that gives a five percent chance for charged items to save charges as a reward from the combat achievement and again this will be added to the master tier rewards and uh, it says you will receive a new blessing that when worn so you have to wear it it will uh, give charges to items such as the scythe of vitor trident of the seas and etc so it would be a just a slight chance it'll be like one in 20 so it's not too great uh, maybe they could put the chances up a little bit i do think it would be um a good thing i do think it would make people try and go and get this master tier rewards done it does save you a little bit of money in the long run and the final question in today's video should we offer the ability to combine the avernic defender with the with the gommel's hilt as a tiered reward 
and you need master tier and grand master tiers <laughs> um the vernet defender can now be combined with the gommel's hilt 5 for a swanky new cosmetic upgrade and uh, again uh, the vernet defender can now be combined with a gommel's hilt 6 for an even swankier cosmetic upgrade <laughs> I think this would be quite good, especially because as well, with the Barrows one, I think I skipped earlier. Yeah, with, with the Barrows one, imagine having that as a permanent thing if you're using this as a defender. You're not having to worry about bringing it and equipping it because then you've already got it. You've got it on your defender. It just means bringing a defender. I think this would be great to add. So I'm going to say yes. It does state you need Master or Grandmaster. Again, not everybody's going to have that. The average consumer probably will, won't have it. And that is going to conclude this video. These are going to be my answers for this current poll. And like always, you guys have until Wednesday the 9th of November. So this recording as of right now is the 4th of November. So you have five days. I'm not too sure if this video is going to be going out later today or if it is going to be going out tomorrow morning. Whether you guys are watching it as of the day of release or a couple of days after, you have until the 9th of November. And then um, let's just go ahead and submit these questions. And thank you for voting. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to conclude today's video if you have enjoyed please like comment subscribe it really will help the channel grow let me know in the comments your opinions and thoughts about some of these questions uh, especially the first five questions where we go over a few new quests and what might be added into the game i do think that they will be a good idea personally uh, let me know if you enjoy doing the quests because me personally i enjoy the quests but this has been ben i hope you guys have all enjoyed nevertheless and i will catch you in the next video goodbye